feel courageous. I feel I'm doing the right thing over here. The alleged victim at the center of an explosive sex abuse scandal rocking the Hasidic village of New Square steps forward, putting a face on the case, making international headlines, allegations of a cover-up and corruption tonight in one of the most religious communities in America. Rabbi Moshe Taubenfeld will head to court in the morning in a case being scrutinized by child advocates around the world. A News 12's Tara Rosenblum sat down exclusively with the young man who unwittingly found himself at the center of all this controversy. Tara. Scott, there is yet to be a pedophile from New Square to ever serve hard time, and that's what makes this case so unusual. Even offenders who have fessed up to their heinous crimes have avoided prison. The young man you're about to meet is hoping this time, maybe that will change. It was a plane, it was definitely a plane. The day America was brought to its feet was the day this young man's life turned into a living hell. And this must be a nightmare. This is really happening. Libby, who asked us not to use his last name, was so traumatized by the chain of events on 9-11. That night, he turned to a trusted spiritual leader in New Square, Rabbi Moshe Menachem Tabenfeld, for guidance. He's like, I'll teach you, I'll help you, I'll guide you. But instead, Leiby, who was nine at the time, claims Taubenfeld, a father of 20, took him to his upstairs study while his own children were home and ordered him to... Pull down your pants and then uh, on their pants started touching me inappropriately. I was basically shocked. It's New Square. So the most religious communities in New I think in America, actually. But almost instantly, those unholy acts became ritualistic. From there on, I started going on a monthly basis, then weekly, and almost daily. He actually gave me $20 every, time, every single time he touched me. Ashamed and terrified, five years would pass before Libby summed up the courage to tell his family the ugly truth about his religious lessons and listen to what he says happened when they confronted the head rabbis of New Square. My mother told him, my son was sexually molested by Moshe Menachem Tamfeld. And he said, I don't know, and I don't believe you. And I was 14 years old. I was a 14-year-old child. Till this day, I cannot forget what he said to me. I moved out of New School when I was 16 years old. I couldn't take it anymore. I have my parents, I'm like, I'm a, I will commit suicide when I got in the square. As fate would have it, years later, while studying in Flatbush, Brooklyn, Libby says a teacher took him to see the movie Zero Dark Thirty about the killing of Osama bin Laden. It changed his life as much as 9-11 did. I saw the faces on them. They didn't do it for the money, they did it for justice, to make sure other people are not hurt by these people. And I saw, and I said to myself, if these people could do it, go into the heart, of the lion's den and kill bin Laden, I'm gonna go forward by hooking my crook for every single child in the world. And so with a newfound sense of courage, Libby did something only one other person has in this ultra-religious community. He called police and reported the abuse and says the threats immediately followed. They may have tried to threaten you or intimidate me, but I was not intimidated because I went and I detected the scar and I testified in front of a grand jury of 20 people and I said what he did to me, and he got indicted. The internationally known rabbi is now facing 10 years behind bars. <laughs> is Moshe Taubenfeld home? He's not here, but can you please close the door? A possible fate Taubenfeld's wife did not want to discuss with us. Their home nestled in the heart of this tight-knit village. You know Moshe Taubenfeld? No. Mistrustful of the outside world. Please oh. close. Where neighbors rushed to defend the rabbi accused. It's a very good man. Do you think your, your children are safe around him? Yeah. It's the safest man in the community. In a bizarre twist, this accused pedophile is also the brother of a convicted sex offender, the first in New Square history to get reported to police. But despite a taped confession, Herschel Taubenfeld avoided prison time, and Libby is fearful history will repeat itself. I'm afraid he might get a sweetheart deal, and that's what I don't want. I want him to go and sit in prison. And people, I want people to know I'm not doing this for, for revenge. Absolutely not. I'm doing this for justice. Everyone is watching, and we're all going to be on top of it. 
Rabbi Nochem Rosenberg of Brooklyn is an internationally known child advocate, and he says people around the world will be watching closely for the outcome of this trailblazing case. He claims Rockland's district attorney, Tom Zugaby, has been reluctant to prosecute pedophiles in New Square for fear of losing the 7,500 votes that tend to come as one block and can easily swing an election. I bet you dollars to donuts. He, Mr. Taubenfeld, is going to walk. The Grand Rabbi of New Square is going to call up Mr. Zugarbi. He's going to call up the lawyers. He's going to say, look, we give you the power. We gave you the black vote. And if you do else different than we want, you're not going to get it. And this is what's killing the Jewish community. Ask Thomas Zugarbi, what would he do if it was his own son who was molested? What would he do? In fact, Libby claims there are countless other victims just like him in New Square. But he is holding on to hope that change could be fast coming in a community accused of staying silent too long. I want people to know they should not feel ashamed to go forward to the police. If they were sexually molested, they should go forward, they should speak up. We're all children of God, and we all deserve a better future, a better, a better promise of tomorrow. Now, District Attorney Thomas Zugaby is vehemently denying the accusations in this story and said in part, quote, if I feared losing the block vote, then why did this office submit this matter to a grand jury for indictment? Our record with law enforcement in the community speaks for itself. As for Rabbi Tabenfeld, he's set to be arraigned in the morning on one count of second degree course of sexual conduct, which is a felony. Scott. And we'll continue to watch this. It's easy for these folks to make accusations. It's not so easy to make a conviction. We'll have to watch and see what happens. Thank you very much, Tara. Very important story.